Pass. Beautiful Sand area. Pass. Of town. It is a very beautiful area mm -hmm. of town. Steve Horsmeyer here with weather, and Steve, uh, it approximated a perfect spring day today. Mm -hmm. Dare we hope for the same tomorrow? <laughs> Actually, today was almost perfect. Tomorrow will be almost more perfect. So pretty good looking coming on. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Right now in Cincinnati, skies are still crystal clear out there. Temperature is on the pleasant side, 65 degrees. As John said, that's almost perfect. With that humidity way down there at 25%, low humidities let the sky, let things cool off overnight, so we expect a chilly night tonight. Barometric pressure 30.19 inches. We're looking at uh, winds from the north at 10, no precipitation, river level 31.6 feet, and the river is slowly falling. We're going to first of all take a look at the satellite picture, and you're going to see that behind me, just what you see out your window is what the satellite picture shows, no clouds around the immediate tri-state. Now with low humidity and no clouds over the tri-state, as the sun sets tonight, it's going to chill off pretty quickly, so if you're going out this evening, you're going to want to take a jacket along. But you notice no clouds way back to the west, so it looks like tomorrow is going to be pretty sunny. All this controlled by this high-pressure system. Notice where you see a low-pressure system or a front, you see a few clouds. But under the high-pressure system from the Gulf Coast all the way up into Canada, things are looking pretty clear. Now, the future of our weather is controlled by this high-pressure system, and the key is going to be the southerly winds that you find to the west of this high-pressure system. And those winds are going to make things a little bit warmer. As a matter of fact, you're going to see warmer temperatures all the way to the west of us, and slowly this warmer air will move eastward. Now, we know it's going to be warmer, but the question is how much warmer? Well, you can see Cincinnati's temperature right now is 65 degrees. Tomorrow's weather is coming from St. Louis, 72. And Monday's weather is coming from the Kansas City area. And right now in Kansas City, it's 80. So tomorrow near 72 and near 80 on Monday, things are looking very, very nice. Now, what about the weather forecast? Well, the future back on Monday, if I move out of the way, you can see it a little bit better here. This front's coming our way, and that will bring in the possibility of some shower activity, and that probably getting here Monday night. And behind that front, somewhat cooler air. So here's how it goes. For tomorrow, a little bit warmer. Monday night, a few showers. During the day, Monday should be pretty nice. And then Tuesday, cooling off just a little bit as this front comes through and brings us somewhat cooler air. Let's go on and look at the record book. Today's high was very nice at 65 degrees. Low this morning, 41. Normally, 68 and 45. The record high was 88, set back in 1960. Record low, 26, back in 1919. Here's the AccuWeather forecast for tonight. Clear and chilly. Lows will range from 35 in outlying areas to 40 in town. So tomorrow morning on your way to church or wherever you're going in the morning, you're going to need a jacket. Sunny and very nice tomorrow. Look at this, John. 72. Sunday night, a bit on the cool side. Lows 40 to 45. And then for Monday, we're looking at partly cloudy and warmer weather, high about 77, and Monday night could bring some showers before it cools off on Tuesday. So the, I guess the best news is that tomorrow there's absolutely nothing wrong with the weather. It's going to be perfect, just as you said. I'll take a dozen, uh, wrap them <laughs> up uh, in any size. And for those of you who are wondering about the location of the background for our weather statistics, that is a live shot from River Downs Racetrack. Beautiful. It is really beautiful. Makes you think of the times when you were a little kid, when it was real warm outside, you wanted to run through the sprinkler, you know? But Mom never <laughs> let you. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Steve. Up next on the Weekend Report, sports with Walt Mayer, who looks at the preparations for the run for the roses. That's coming up next.